in regards to the Barbie movie being banned in Vietnam because they put on a map the Nine Dash line, which is a controversial issue, I think it's pretty wrong for Warner and Sony to be coddling to China like that. And I think, in fact, to the point where, you know, you just don't you just don't jump in to political things like that. I mean, they're a private company. They can put whatever they want in their movie. But I, I think it's just terrible. So here's an article from July 28th, 2020. So here we are literally basically on the third year anniversary. Okay. And now we have Vietnam banning m movies. It's not the first movie. There's been several movies banned over this issue. But in 2020, China stakes claim to 90%. But here's what the thing is. The United States rejected this. So... In New Delhi, Australia rejected this maritime claim over the South China Sea. And they, meaning Australia, wrote to the United Nations stating there was no legal basis for China to do this. Okay? And in mid-July, in another substantial statement, the U.S. government also rejected nearly all of China's claims. So why is American companies siding with China? Like, what's up with that? I, I, I just, I'm not going to watch any of the movies that any company puts out that jumps in like this and coddles to China. I won't I won't do this. And you know, I haven't done the research to actually look deeply onto who is actually correct. It's just the point that this has been a controversial issue and it didn't come back up until two thousand and nine when Vietnam had a dispute with China. They China went to the United Nations. And so I think that China is trying I don't know why they're trying to stronghold these large countries like this you know strong arm or whatever you know the way they acted during the pandemic was that they tried to hold back supplies unless they entered into manufacturing contract agreements with them they're trying to get 95 percent of the manufacturing jobs by 2025 and so they're trying to take you know large parts of the sea not only have control of it but there's a larger concern that you know that they may like manipulate by holding passage through that unless they do something that they want like they did to italy italy was in great peril and china was like they wasn't going to give them supplies they haven't had all the manufacturing stuff they had the power and they held that over their head would not give them supplies in a pandemic unless they entered into contractual agreements with them i mean it's just that kind of stuff i mean if our president does something like that withhold aid or whatever or something like that unless they you know i mean they get criticized for it so you know china doing stuff like that aggressively trying to get 95 percent of manufacturing jobs in the world and bragging about that and then now they're trying to control this sea and our united states companies um making movies trying to tell society that something that's been on over controversy and there's been you know little proof obviously that they haven't resolved it it's just it's just wrong okay i think it's just wrong they didn't need to put that in any of the movies there's been several movies so i don't know why they're doing that but i will not watch any movie that coddles to china and puts that map in there i think it's wrong i think they need to go to the united nations and i think they need to come to some kind of agreement okay the american companies jumping in there trying to like pick on these smaller than china companies it's just morally wrong okay anyways that's my spill of the deal